the number 4 to the 8th power plus 26 to the 3rd power is not divisible by 3, 4, 5, or 6. So the answer is C, 5. But I have to solve it without using a calculator. And I have tried to simplify it in, and I still have to calculate big numbers. So I was wondering if it's possible to solve this without calculations at all, or minimum calculations. So for this kind of questions, it's best to use modular arithmetic. And let me just give you guys an example before we proceed. Let's say we are doing 17 divided by 5. Just do a long division and all that stuff. You end up with 3, but the remainder 2. For the modular arithmetic is, we are paying attention to the remainder. Based on this, we can say the following. 17 is congruent to 2 mod 5. Notice that the mod 5 is when we are dividing by 5. This and that just means that they have the same remainder when you divide it by 5. And you can just think about another number that's congruent to uh, 2 mod 5. For example, 12 is also congruent to 2 mod 5. Right, because uh, 12 divided by 5 is 2 with the remainder 2. And in fact, 22 is also the same thing, right? So, so, so on. And if you happen to have a number that's divisible by 5, let's say if we have 45, of course, divided by 5, this is just 9 remainder 0. So based on this, we can say 45 is congruent to 0 mod 5. Well, you might be wondering how many times, so it doesn't really matter in modular arithmetic. Firstly, let's check um, if it's divisible by 3 or not. So, here's the deal. We have 4 to the 8th power. Well, don't look at the power yet. Just look at 4. And then we have to think about this is congruent to what? Mod 3. Because we're trying to divide it by 3. And of course, 4. Right, divided by 3 is 1, with the remainder 1. So it's 4 is congruent to 1 mod 3. Now, this is what we can do in modular arithmetic. Here we have a power. In fact, we can raise both sides to the same power, and then just kind of work this out. 4 to the 8th power will be congruent to 1 to the 8th power is still 1, and that will tell us 4 to the 8th power is congruent to 1 mod 3. And now we can work on 26. 26 is congruent to what? After we divide it by 3. The remainder is what? 26 divided by 3 is 8. Remainder 2, right? So 26 is congruent to 2 mod 3. Now we have to raise that to the third power. So just go ahead and raise that to the third power. So this is going to be 26 to the third power is congruent to 2 to the third power working out regularly, which is 8. But 8, if you just kind of think about it, 8 divided by 3 is 2, with the remainder 2. So this right here, we can say that's congruent to 2 mod 3. OK? So now, check this out. We know 4 to the 8 is congruent to 1. So let me just write this down, 4 to the 8. And then we know this right here is congruent to 2. So 4 to the 8 plus 26 to the third power, this is what we can do. Just pick out the remainder from here. This will be 1. And then we have to add it with this right here will be 2. And the 1 plus 2 is 3, of course. But 3 is congruent to 0 after we mass 3. And remember, if you see a 0 right here, that means this number is divisible by 3. Right, but in this case right here, we're looking for which one is not divisible by. All right, so uh, three is not the answer. And now let's just try the other one. So for four, the first one, four is of course congruent to zero mod four. And then if you just raise both sides to the eighth power, of course, we will still end up with zero. So four to the eighth is congruent to zero mod four. So you don't really have to do that part, actually. Take a look at this part. Just look at 26 first. And if you divide that by 4, it's 6 with the remainder of 2. 
So 26 is congruent to 2 mod 4. And then raise both sides to the third power, like this, like that. So 26 to the third power, 2 to the third power is 8. 8 divided by 4, remainder is 0. So this is congruent to 0 mod 4. As you can see, that part is 0, this part is 0, so of course you get 0. So this number is divisible by 4, right? So it checks right here, it also checks right here. Now, for 6, if a number is divisible by 3, it's also, if a number is divisible by 3 and also divisible by 4, then that means the number has to be divisible by 3 times 4, which is 12. If a number is divisible by 12, it must be divisible by 6. So this right here is also um, divisible by 6. So that said, the answer is C. Yeah, that, yeah, that's pretty much it. But of course, let's also verify this with modular arithmetic. Okay, so let's begin with the base 4 right here. And 4 is congruent to what? Mod 5. Hmm. If we do 4 divided by 5, well, if you do the long division, put a 4 inside and then the 5 on the outside. 5 goes into 4 zero times and the remainder is just equal to 4, right? So it seems like there's nothing that uh, we can simplify. But check this out. For modular, for modular arithmetic, we can also use negative numbers. What I'm going to do is 4 on the inside and then 5 on the outside. I will still put on 1. 1 times 5 is 5. Subtract. 4 minus 5 is negative 1. So I can look at this as remainder negative 1. 4 is indeed congruent to negative 1 mod 5. From here, let's raise that to the 8th power. So go ahead, 8th power here, 8th power here. So 4 to the 8th power is congruent to negative 1 to the 8th power, which is 1. So that's just the first part. Now for the 26 to the 3rd power, 26 is congruent to what mod 5? Well, 26 divided by 5 is 5 with the remainder 1. So we have a 1 right here. And then raise that to the third power. I raise that to third power. That means 26 to the third power is congruent to 1 to the third power is still 1. Mod 5. And then if we combine the results, that means 4 to the eighth power plus 26 to the third power is congruent to from here, we get the 1 right here, right? And then we add it with. From here, well, we have this one right here. So we are just doing 1 plus 1, which is congruent to 2 mod 5. So since this number is not equal to 0, that means when you take this number and divide it by 5, you will get a remainder of 2. So it's more like, let me just do like this, 26 to a third power and then 5. I, I don't know what this is, right, the number is too big, but da, 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 at the end, the remainder will be a 2. So this number is not divisible by 5. That's it. Oh, I haven't done this for a long time, so it was very fun. Hopefully, this is clear. That's it.